Hello everybody and welcome to today's deck profile. Today we will be doing the Gravekeepers. This is an older archetype that got some not recent recent support, like 2019, uh, around that time. But it's all about locking down your opponent's graveyard and doing some pretty funny things uh, throughout the duel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the deck profile. Starting off, we play three copies of Gravekeeper's Spy. Uh, it's a flip effect monster that when it's flipped face up, special Gravekeeper's monster with 1500 or less defense, or attack, rather, from your deck. Uh, he's just a good recruiter. And 2k defense isn't too bad. Uh, three Spiritualist. During your main phase, if Necro Valley is on the field, you can fusion summon a spellcast fusion monster from your extra deck using this cards and other monsters from your hand or field as material. So this is the only way to get out your Supernaturalist. Uh, but it's just a good, easy fusion summon. Then we play three copies of Gravekeeper's Commandant. This is effectively three copies of Terraforming. You can discard this to add a Necro Valley from deck to hand. Because uh, you are playing seven copies of it in your deck. Uh, nine if you count the Searcher for Commandant. Uh, then we're playing three copies of Gravekeeper's Headman. Uh, this card summon, target level four Gravekeeper's Monster in your grave, special summon an attack, or face down defense addition. Uh, this card is unaffected by Necro Valley, so it's just good recursion, especially if you have the ability to then normal summon afterwards. We play two guards. It is a Compulse on Flip Summon. Uh, that's really about it, otherwise it's just another Gravekeeper's name. Play two Shaman. This card is level 6. So you do have to tribute summon it. It gains 200 defense for each Gravekeeper's monster in the grave. It negates all monster effects that activate in the grave, except for Gravekeeper's monsters. Uh, one Arch Valley is on the field. Your opponent cannot activate field spells, and it protects your field spell. So this is two copies of Field Barrier with a pretty big booty, uh, depending on your grave. We play one Chief. Uh, you can only control one of him, and he gives the same effect that Headman does, where... Great Keepers are now unaffected by Necro Valley. Uh, and when you tribute summon, you can special like Grave Keepers from your grave. Finally, we play one copy of Grave Keepers Visionary. You can tribute this by tributing one Grave Keepers monster. This card gains 200 for each Grave Keepers monster in your grave. And if this face up card was destroyed, discard a Grave Keepers monster instead. Good protection, he can get pretty big. And he gives the ability of your Supernaturalist to get pretty big. So, a really useful card. Now moving on to the spells, we get to the main staple of the deck, which is three copies of your Necro Valley. Uh, Necro Valley's effect, all Gravekeepers gain 500 attack and defense. Uh, cards in the Graves cannot be removed from play. Cards in the Graves cannot be affected by card effects aside from their own. So effectively, unless your monster activates its own effect in the graveyard, it's stuck there. Uh... But this is the one card you really need for all of your combos to work. Uh, that's why you play so many ways to get to it. Speaking of, we do play 3 Necro Valley Throne. When it's activated, you can either add a Gravekeeper's from deck to your hand, or normal summon a Gravekeeper's monster. So if you already have all the monsters you need, you can search Commandant. Commandant searches Necro Valley. Uh, so, like I said, you're playing effectively 10 copies of Necro Valley in the deck, because most of your cards do need it to work. Uh, another good one you have is Hidden Temples in Necro Valley. Now this card is insane. While you control a Gravekeeper's and Necro Valley, neither player can special summon unless it's a Gravekeeper's monster. If you don't control either a Gravekeeper or a Necro Valley, destroy this card. But with the way you can set up your board, it's rare that you're not going to have both Necro Valley and Gravekeeper. Uh, so this is effectively just a new version of of Vanity's Emptiness, just only affecting your opponent, which is insane. Uh, great card. They all are mostly dark, aside from the Commandant, so 3 Allure to get some draw power. 2 Royal Tribute. Uh, it can only be activated while Necro Valley is on your side of the field. Both players have to discard all monster cards in their hands to the grave. This, honestly, you don't really... By the time you activate this... You won't really have too many of these left in your hand, uh, so it's really just messing up your opponent's plays, especially if you're going first with this uh, deck, which is what Gravekeepers, my build at least, are meant to do. So, insane card, really 
can take the life out of your opponent. Uh, one card destruction, same reason as Royal Tribute. Send their cards to the graveyard, they lose those resources, and you get a new hand. So, uh, finally we do play just one terraforming. Like I said, there's your 10th copy of Necro Valley, right there. Uh, moving on to the traps, however, we do have three Imperial Tomb of Necro Valley. When Spell Trap or Monster Effect is activated, while you control both the Gravekeepers and Necro Valley, negate the activation, destroy it. So, there's your basic counter trap for all GX decks. Uh, decent card. You know, that's just your basic Omni Negate. Uh, to Necro Valley Temple. Uh, while a Gravekeeper and Necro Valley are on the field, uh, monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack and defense. During the main phase, if there's no card in the field spell zone, activate Necro Valley directly from your hand or graveyard. Uh, so this is recursion on the good chance that something does happen to your Necro Valley. Uh, and of course, if this is destroyed, set a Necro Valley Spell Trap from deck. So, really great card. Finally, extra deck. I only have the two. I would recommend playing three Supernaturalist, and then everything else can be generic. Uh, X season, uh, or Link, but I only play the one Supernaturalist because you don't really need to go into anything else. Uh, in fact, you can probably take out the three lore, replace those with Pot of Extravagance, uh, but I don't really care to put Pot of Extravagance in the deck because there's no need to right now. Uh, Supernaturalist is phenomenal, however, uh, it just takes two Gravekeeper's monsters, gains attack and defense equal to the level of the materials used to its fusion summon times 100. So we can already get beefed up a little bit. Uh, and while he's on, while Necrovel is in the field, this card and any card in your field zone cannot be destroyed by card effects. So he's also a copy of Field Barrier for your Necrovel. And finally, during your main phase, you can activate this effect. During the end phase of the turn, add a Gravekeeper or a Necrovel card from deck to hand. So he is a free searcher during the end phase for either your Temple, your Tomb, or your hidden temple. Uh, you could also go for a throne if you're trying to get some recursion plays for next turn, but either way, this is usually your boss monster. You summon him up to your EMZ and just kind of sit on it, poking your opponent until either they give up or you win. Uh, I kind of went over most of the plays you have for the deck, but you want to go first. You want to get your Necro Valley Temple on the field. A Necro Valley and hopefully a supernaturalist but sometimes you do just kind of have to set your spy and hope for the best but otherwise pretty really good deck uh for kind of a lockdown control strategy uh as always i hope you enjoyed make sure you leave a like comment down below what video you'd like me to, see ne to do next and i will see you in the next one